Hey guys, we're live on Saturn. Early, early, early Wednesday morning, just after midnight. Uh, old Bill's going to do the moon this morning, uh, real early in the morning. Probably my last shot at a slither of a moon. Uh, the skies are relatively clear. And about the only star I could see in the sky was, was a planet Saturn. And maybe a couple other isolated stars, but uh, the the sky is not real clear. I mean, it's clear, but it's not bonifully clear where you can see zillions of stars. Somebody sent me a picture of what the the night sky looked like at in, uh, like in Utah, uh, and uh, in different state parks. And I mean, you can see zillions of stars. Well, Bill can only see three or four, and one of them just happens to be Saturn. And I wanted to see what I could do with this thing uh, with a Barlow. And I have a five times a Barlow in. Actually, it's a four and a half times Barlow. It's my two and a half times power mate on my camera. Piggybacked on that is an Acromatic 1.9 times Barlow. Acromatically corrected. I've been fiddling with this thing for about a half an hour and this is probably as good as I can get. I can get closer and I'm going to show you. But you, I wanted the, you to just look at this picture. This is a remarkable a remarkable picture. I know we're not seeing a lot of color in the bands, but we are seeing the bands. You can clearly see the rings of Saturn. Now I'm going to turn up the, the color intensity just a little bit and you can see when I do it kinda and I'll turn the white balance up which will, will allow us to see a little more color but it, it's not bringing out the the color and the bands like I'd like before I zoom in on this I wanted to say one thing um, some of you uh, astronomers or would-be astronomers like me, maybe, maybe you watched my last video of, of Saturn and I was, I was chasing all over the place just to keep it in frame. Now you can see Saturn is dead on, locked on, aligned. Uh, I found the secret to aligning the planet where it'll lock on and stay on. I'm using a a Celestron Nexstar 8SC telescope with a Celestron Nexstar computer controller. And if you align, do a solar alignment on the moon and then you set up the tracking to be lunar, it'll track. If you set up the solar alignment on Saturn and align on Saturn, and set up the tra tracking to be uh, the normal tracking, it will align and lock in on Saturn. And the way you get it to do it is you go uh, planet, and then you pick Saturn again, and then you uh, kind of bring it in again fresh. And when you do that, it will lock in. See, Saturn moves at a, a, at, a, at a different rate than the normal stars. Each planet has a they all kind of move in their own unique way. This is really a pretty good picture. You can see clearly the bands of Saturn. I don't think we could see them that clear the last time. Now, now, <laughs> uh, I'm celebrating drinking some scotch. No, I'm not. I'm celebrating. I don't drink. I wish I drank. I, I love scotch. Absolutely love it. But I haven't had a drink in six years. Five, six years, whatever. But I got my black tagger coffee, and I'm going to take a take a sip of it in celebration. Before I go zooming in, I want to tell you one thing. Before I go zooming in on this thing, you're going to say, "Whoa, this is going to be." You're going to zoom in, and it's going to be real big, and it, w it would be crystal clear, and everything. No, 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 no. The the problem tonight is the sky 
is not dark. It's not, there's too much light. Some nights I can go out and I can see zillions of stars or uh, quite a few. Tonight I can't. The city lights, the, the moon is coming up eventually, so there's a moon reflecting on the atmosphere. There's a lot of reason uh, reasons for it, but I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to show you the potential, the potential of what I can do with this thing. And uh, as long as I keep my controls figured out, I'll be okay. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, eventually, it'll be almost four and a half times. Right now, it's uh, it's not even zoomed in at all. Uh, one. Okay, now let's make sure we stay caught up with it. That's one time. I'm going to go zoom in a second. Two. You'll see it's starting to get fuzzy eventually, but it will. I'll still hang in there with it. Bring it down a little bit. Three. Four. Move it to the right a little bit. You can still see the uh, the bands of the rings. Five, six, down to the right a little bit. Still see the bands of the rings. Seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 clicks of zoom. Now, now let's, let's just see what we can do with this. And I'm not sure we can do anything with it. I'll turn the brightness up a little bit just a little bit. I'll turn the contrast if I turn it up your guinea pigs guys guinea pigs see eventually I'll turn it all the way up and you can see it you know it'll overpower uh, gotta have a happy medium you go down a little bit Okay, let me turn the color intensity up. See how it got that glow uh, down, down. I'll put, I'll, I'll leave it right about there. White balance up. Okay, that's not bad, guys. I mean, for a four and a half times Barlow on Saturn, if you're an astronomer and have a telescope in your backyard, I challenge you to do it. <laughs> I mean, you try to get it any better. I'm going to turn the, now I'm going to do some serious finagling. Turn the right light off and the exposure up. Kind of all manual now, just to see what I can do. I'm gonna turn the gain up. See how it's kind of turn the right light back on. That's probably best for us. And let it move it over to the no, the other way, Bill. Too far. Too far. Come on. Very sensitive, very sensitive. And that's not bad for a, uh, a close up. Let me back out now. As you'll see, when I back out, it'll look clear. Obviously, it should. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and let's you you can kind of see so the colors up too much you get that blue I'll turn it down okay let's back put it move it to the right a little bit you can see the bands now see the bands on the rings and you can kind of sort of see the bands and right there I'll leave it right there that's probably optimal for uh, for us to just look at it okay what's the lesson uh, number one uh, the brighter the object the clearer the image and Saturn tonight is not super it's brighter than any other star but it's not uh, as bright as the moon will be there will be nights though when Saturn will be very bright and when it is very bright when it's bright on a, on a, a really dark night I should be able to like maybe coming up we're going to have uh, the moon's going to go away that means the ambient light that's in the atmosphere reflected from the moon won't be there because it'll be a dark moon and we might be able to bring in Saturn clear number two there is an effective power of all telescopes and getting closer doesn't necessarily necessarily mean getting clear images you've seen this on some of my stuff on the moon I'll go so close and then I'll double whammy up and all of a sudden you got the fuzzies well we saw some fuzzies here but I think it was more 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 because of the fact that we just don't have a very bright object what's the third lesson for astronomers if you watch my other Saturn video you realize I was chasing the mountain all over the place that roller coaster was going up and down and left and right and I was chasing it with my controller I haven't pushed a button. I've got this thing dead on locked on Saturn with the standard celestial uh, Celestron controller, computer controller. Um, and what's the fourth lesson? The fourth lesson is the autofocus doesn't work too good on a small object sometimes it does see I just put it on see how it's kinda just like on the moon it's coming in and out see it moving around it's trying there's just not enough light I'll turn it off move this thing back the sweet spot on my screen right is right there and I'll just try to hone in the focus. That is as good as we're going to get on picture wise. I turn up the color too much and you can see some of the color. You really can, but because it's so dim, it detracts from the uh, from the quality of the presentation okay one more thought on the the moon coming up tonight it's a, it is be a slither and I don't know that I'll be able to see very much if I decide to you know to, if it's worth it if the, if the, if the clouds stay away I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot but otherwise it'll it'll probably be a, a couple weeks before I get another shot at it because of my porch but when I do I'll uh, I'll give you a heads up. I might get a, get another shot at this uh, Saturn uh, real close. Let me zoom in one more time just, just to show you. Uh, no frills. I'm just going to zoom in then we'll zoom back out. One. Let me zoom all the way out first so you can see how f that's what it looks like. And I'll turn the brightness down. That's what it looks like uh, with the optical zoom off. 
I mean, it's all. Now I'm going to just start zooming in one, two, three, four. Oops. Four. Got to turn up the brightness. Make sure I don't lose it. Down is up. I think I lost it. <laughs> In any case, there, there we go. I, I get excited and I push the button the wrong way all the time. Let's continue to zoom in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 15 clicks of zoom. Pretty good. Let's try to do a little focus on it. Matter of fact, let's try the motorized focus. See, it's out of focus. And find focus. So I had it in focus pretty good. Now I'll turn auto focus on. We just don't have enough. It's just, just too. You know, okay, let me back it out and we'll finish this thing up. Anyhow, that's a good session. Um, got to show you what uh, Saturn looked like up as close as I could get. Let me turn the brightness up. And. Uh, Too much, too much, too much. And you know, I don't know if I can get it. Okay, that's about it. Anyhow, wishing you and yours clear skies, guys. <laughs>